Hello everyone and welcome to my first tutorial series in Europa Universalis. This tutorial will go over how to record and set up your own time lapse and this will actually work in any Paradox interactive game, not just Europa Universalis. This will be a quick tutorial so let's begin. First it's single player and you can select any of, this, of the nations or civilizations in the map, it really doesn't matter. We're going to select Burgundy, like I said it doesn't matter. Once your game loads, which is relatively fast, you're going to first go to your political map mode and you're going to press your tilde key. This will open up the console command uh, menu and do note that you can only do this if you are not in Iron Man mode. So don't run Iron Man mode when you're doing a time lapse. So after you've opened up your console command key, all you have to do is type in observe like so and press enter. Now you are no longer playing as any country, but instead are an observer. So what I usually do for my time lapse videos is I'll usually position the camera over Eurasia, including Europe and all of Asia, but it really doesn't matter. Um, time lapse video is really what you want to make of it. So uh, for tutorial purposes, I will do what I normally do and go over Asia like so. And what's important also is that you set to your in-game speed to max and you can do that by toggling these plus or minus buttons up here in the top right corner of your screen. Now that that's all done, make sure you are recording or if you're not recording just hang back and watch and press space when you're ready. Now what I'm doing right now is basically just letting the game run and this is the essence of every time-lapse video. Uh, what I'll usually do is I'll um, let the time-lapse run overnight Generally this can take anywhere between 4 to 12 hours, depending on which mods I'm using. And you can use really any mod that you like. This is an unmodded version of Europa Universalis, just for tutorial purposes. But many time lapses will cover things such as Always War, or Colonialism mods, All Western mods, various Overhaul mods, it really doesn't matter. So like I said earlier, um, the video is now recording. And yeah, this is basically all you need to do to record a Europe Universalis time lapse. Now we're going to switch over to a video editing program so that I can show you guys how I fast forward my time lapses. And for these purposes, it will be in Sony Vegas, although you can use any video editing software that allows you to speed up gameplay footage. In Sony Vegas, you can import your media by clicking on the import media button and simply select the time-lapse that you've just made and once again this will take a little while to record a time-lapse usually it will once again take about four to twelve hours so the best time to do this is overnight um, or really whenever you think is best so anyways now that it's in your timeline if you're using Sony Vegas like me all you have to do is make sure you have a video track open with your timeline here and hold down the control button now when you do this, it'll allow you to time stretch your video, and this is important to speed up your time lapse so that it's not a few hours long. Now, you'll notice that in Sony Vegas, you can only um, time stretch a certain amount, but this is not a problem. I'm going to show you how to get around this. Now first, after you're done um, with, with any footage that you have, uh, time stretching it as fast as you can, simply resave it, as I just did right there, as a Vegas Pro Project file. Delete it and reopen it. Where is it? Resave. Now you'll see that you can furthermore stretch it even shorter. So what was once one hour and 30 minutes long is now approximately six minutes long. And this is basically it. If you're using Sony Vegas like me, um, now you just add audio effects or music maybe some title footage that's saying what your movie's about and anything else that you think is necessary now um, like I said this is for Sony Vegas I'm going to show you guys how I would render a video and this is not necessary if you're using a different program now if you are using Sony Vegas it's as easy as going to render as and generally I record my videos in .avi format using dxstory so the best thing to do is to match your project files with your rendering the same format as you are recording so that, that way uh, Sony Vegas or whatever video editing project or program that you're using doesn't have to convert it and this will make it a lot faster uh, for all my videos I select 1080p 
and I'll go to customize uh, template to make sure that I'm getting 30 FPS good go to project to make sure that I have the best video rendering quality and that's about it select where you want to save it in this case it's automatically my e-directory and hit render this will take a little while once it's done um, just open up your your file and you're ready to upload to YouTube I'm gonna cancel this because I don't need it and I hope this helps you guys if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me and as always, like and subscribe if you found this useful.